when I'm done, when I'm done, don't play with me, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we're going to be doing a full get ready with me. And this is my first one of 2022. So, thumbs up this video because I know you guys have been requesting them. You guys have been missing them. And I'm back. I do have a few planned for you guys, but I just wasn't going anywhere. And now I'm going somewhere, so why not? But today I'm going to be doing my hair from RPG show, of course. Like, it's a, it's a moment, right? It's a look. I'm gonna be doing my makeup on camera, doing an outfit, my perfume, you know, the whole spiel. We got some new goodies in here today. So, if you're interested in this look, what you see but in the thumbnail or right here, make sure you guys are liking this video. Of course, subscribing to my channel, please and thank you, and keep watching. All right, guys, so we're getting started with this Get Ready With Me. This is my first Get Ready With Me of 2022, and I'm really excited. I'm actually stepping out. I think this is my first time actually going out this year, too. It's my friend's birthday, and we're going to dinner, so I might as well give y'all a look. Well, not this one, but a look, okay? And I heard y'all missed my get ready with me, so I'm back, okay? So I have this wig from RPG Show. It is this pretty, like, um, I've really been into these, like, warmer blonde and brown shades. What was that? What was that, Tasha? But um, this is the wig. It came pre-colored. The knots came bleached, and it came plucked. I did pluck it just a little bit more, but it literally took me five minutes, um, so it wasn't a hassle at all. And also, you know, we got lots of parting space in here, all right, and then some elastic bands as well. So I actually am going to just, you know, vibe out and do my hair. I'm not going to talk through this. Oop, I'm making a mess. I'm not going to talk through this because I want a flawless install. I don't want any distractions. So, <laughs> that's what I'm about to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. All information for this wig will be um, listed down below as well. But um, I just want to give y'all a poppin' install. And I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I kind of have an idea of how I want my makeup. Because I've kind of switched up things and you guys have been noticing. But I just haven't recorded. So, we're going to see, darling. Even though I don't want to show emotions. I'm hoping not to touch to try and tell me back twice But you had me writing right back, back Had me coming back to back, yeah Play it by your neck, yeah Tell you arch your back, yeah Tell you to shut your ass up Rushing here real fast just to take it slower You know I ain't this as a hustle, boy, you let me know
All right, guys, so I got a little closer for you guys. Um, my hair looks amazing. We already knew that, though. We already knew how RPG show was coming. So I'm just going to, like, tuck it a little bit. I do need to um, put this side down a little bit more, but I'm going to do that after I do my makeup because I have been noticing that my lace... I just like doing my makeup without a scarf, headband, anything on. I just like to do it like this. So I'm going to start with my brows. That's what I've been doing. Ooh. I need to get another brow pencil. So I'm gonna be using my Morphe pencil, um, eyebrow pencil in chocolate mousse. Um, this is like my go-to, my ride or die, and it's only $5. So I'm gonna carve out my brows. I've honestly, you guys, been really liking a more snatched brow. It has been giving. So I just like to outline my brow kind of comb the product through and then fill in any like excessive gaps. I kind of do like the gaps in my brow because it makes it look more natural. It's like I like it to be arched and like defined, but natural. Okay, um, we're gonna see how much of this I can get done on camera because I just took this other battery off the charger and it was not plugged in. So I might have to take a little intermission but I'm filling in my brows. Super easy, you guys. I do not take all day on my brows because nobody has time for that. Like, why are you sitting there doing your brows for 30 minutes, babe? So now I'm going to be cleaning up my brows. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. And I'm using the shade Chai and Butterscotch. So I'm going to bounce back and forth a little bit because this just works for me, especially if I'm in like a little time crunch, which I'm not really in a time crunch, but I don't like to be sitting here all day, okay? So I'm going to go with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I'm going to put that all over. Do I want to put on another moisturizer? No, not today. So I'm going to go with my Milk Hydro Grip and just apply that all over so it can kind of like settle into the skin and get tacky before applying my um, face makeup. I like really like to let my product sit now. I don't like to move too, too fast and do like primer, then foundation, then powder, then get to the, like, I like to really just do things how they're supposed to be done. And then I'm gonna go in with my YSL blurring primer. I absolutely love this stuff. And at first I was like, what's the hype? But it definitely gives you that smooth, look that you want so I just do a pump of that and then I really focus it like in the center of my face and it automatically blurs my face you guys like wherever I have texture which is everywhere but really be in this mid area but before I go to my eyes there's one more step that I want to do and that is color correcting I have blemishes I've been going through it clearly so I'm gonna take this NARS creamy radiant creamy color corrector in the shade medium deep and I'm gonna apply that to the areas where I have very dark spots and I do this because I like to let this sit and then blend it out because if I blend this out right away what's gonna happen is it's just gonna spread and it's not gonna actually correct what I need it to so I like to let the color corrector sit as if when you let your under eye concealer sit and get tacky and thicker, I like to do that. So now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm just using whatever products left on this brush from cleaning up my brows or blending out the concealer around my brows. I don't like too much product on my eyebrow. I mean on my, why can I talk? I haven't done the get ready with me in so long, y'all. Um, on my eyelids, so yeah so believe it or not I haven't been doing a lot of tutorials but I've been wearing eyeshadow and I've been wearing a lot of like shimmer shades which I typically don't do but today I'm really not feeling that I want to do like a very warm matte eye 
Sorry, at least it's not just bronze and a crease. I'm gonna try to make it as warm as possible and just really glam. So I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And there's two colors in here that I have been obsessed with, which are Homebody and G Money. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, G, sorry, Homebody is this one, and then G Honey. And I mixed the both of those and I put those in my crease. I just love the transition. I think they are perfect. We'll see this. See, I've been doing eyeshadow, y'all. It's got purple on it. So I'm gonna dip into both of those with a Morphe 535 brush, and I'm literally gonna put that in my crease, and it's just so perfect. Like, oh my gosh. I've actually been liking to do my eyes um, first because when I like finish my makeup, it's just a lot cleaner. There's no like, I could wipe away the fallout. Um, I can sharpen it up or just clean it up if I feel like, you know, it doesn't look how I want. Don't get me wrong, I like the skin first. That, that's a moment. But with the makeup phase that I'm in right now, I've really been liking this like really snatched look. This works for me. So different techniques for different days for different looks, okay? And I'm just blending that out and buffing it out and blending and building, sorry, the color up to my liking. So you could do less than this or you could do more than this, but I do want like an intense um you know brow color so now i'm going in with my makeup addiction this is makeup addiction um palette and i'm using these two browns you guys know i love this palette these three colors love them and i'm gonna go actually in my crease now and i'm gonna be a little bit more precise and really define my eyelid so i'm debating if i want to put this dark color all over my lid or if i want to put like a lighter color so it's like a caramel kind of matte eye like a nutmeggy kind of eye i think that's what i want to do and sorry if you guys hear that sound that is my heat i'm about to turn it off because that's going to be so annoying when i'm back editing i'm going to come up with a little concoction for my lid um i'm going to mix um home Ooh. oh no it got all over my robe Y'all can't see that. But anyways, I'm going to be using Homebody and Perfectionist from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I wish I could have just used the Jaclyn Hill palette, but she does not have any like deep browns. Um, it's like a lot of... I'm just making a mess. It's like a lot of purples and stuff. It's a beautiful palette, but there's no dark brown. That's why I had to dip into something else. And so now I'm going to put that all over my lid. And I really wanted something like this, but a little lighter so I know exactly what I'm going to do. And I really don't know what I'm wearing, so I do want to keep it more on the neutral side. I did attempt to pick out my outfit. Well, I didn't attempt. I'm lying. I told myself I want to pick out my outfit because I just want to be on time. Because my friend's actually coming over before we go out so I can do her makeup for her birthday. So I just want to, you know, be on time and she wants to take pictures and stuff. But yeah, where's the fun in that? So there's this like white cream color in here. I'm not picking up the spot again because it's making a mess. And I'm just going to go over that to lighten that up because I didn't want like a super white matte eye. But I do want it to be just a little lighter. When I'm done, when I'm done, don't play with me. Okay. And I want it to be really subtle. That's why I didn't use my NYX glitter primer like I typically do. If I wanted this to pop, I would have definitely used my glitter primer. If I wanted my lid to be super opaque. So we're going to leave that alone for now. And there's not a lot of fallout as you can see. But you guys, I'm telling you, you're always going to have some kind of fallout. Because watch this. Do you see that? Always. Even if you don't see it. It is there. So now I'm going to blend it out. And as you can see, it's literally just buffing out. And it has covered up the dark spot without moving around because we gave it time to kind of dry down so I love that because like my face has been tripping like my dark spots is getting darker but I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have not been wearing sunscreen like I should unfortunately I'm forgetting but I need to just put it on my counter so now that that's on all of my dark marks are covered or the ones that i feel like cannot be covered with foundation and now i don't have to like pack my foundation on 
which I love. So I have a new foundation combo. We back to mixing the foundations because when you mix them, they just hit different. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number 13, and then I'm using Dior in the shade 6N, the both of them. This one is a little too warm for me. I think that Charlotte Tilbury should work on the shade range just a little bit. Like they go pretty deep, but like the undertones are just not it. And then this one um, is more of like a natural finish, but the two together, baby, baby. So I do like one pump of each. Well, this one's not a pump, it's like a little squirt. Um, so I go like that. And these are the colors, I'm gonna show you guys the difference. So the one underneath is a Charlotte Tilbury and the one on top is the um, Dior and just mix together. It just works for me and if I need to add more I will but I just like to start off with less foundation because we're not wasting foundation over here and these two of these foundations they are not cheap okay they're not <laughs> they're not and even if you were in five dollar foundation ten dollar foundation it preserve your product okay so I'm gonna use my morphe brush this is the m439 brush and it's clean guys and I'm just gonna stipple this all over And just kind of distribute the product and then I'm going to take my Morphe setting spray mist continuous setting mist and just dry my face and two reasons almost said this two reasons why I do that is because it just gives the face a really nice finish you guys know whenever you do your makeup and you finish with that Morphe spray it just has a really nice finish to it and it just looks so like juicy you know and then also it's going to help with the longevity of my foundation i have noticed when i started i noticed when i started doing this my my makeup lasted a lot longer and it didn't transfer as much so love that for me and also i make sure that my color corrector dries underneath because when i'm blending this out my color corrector is not moving it is like stuck in place except right here this this little mark right here just does not want me to be great y'all such a struggle I just blend that out and I am gonna add a little bit more because this looks good but it's giving natural and I'm trying to give snatural I hope my lighting doesn't look crazy guys the you know behind this I need to just get up early. Well, not that. I actually been up since 8 o'clock. Hello. But um, I didn't want to get ready too early and be sitting around in my makeup because we're not going to dinner till like 8. So like, that's a no-go for me. I haven't really been using my sponge on my face that much. Um, I use it towards the end to absorb any extra product. Um, but that's about it. I feel like the brush does a good job, especially with the technique I use. It takes a little time, but you just pat, 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 pat. And I have to drag down. So now it's time for me to conceal. And um, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Concealer and Butterscotch. All right, and we're, we're gonna layer it up, okay? Because y'all be like, Tashi, you use too much concealer. You use too well, it works for me because when I don't use enough concealer, when I try to do that cute little concealer trick, it does not give what it's supposed to give, okay? So if I wanna put the whole goddamn bottle of concealer on my face, let me do that. You don't have to do that, but I, Natasha, would like to do that. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> And I'm gonna highlight all over like we used to just regular just keep it simple like all these little tips and tricks I'm just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, cute no and then I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan and SX 11 is brighter honey and I'm gonna just go over that and I'm gonna spray my face a little bit again and I'm gonna let that sit for like 60 seconds, like 60 whole seconds. Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing. Let me tell y'all what I am gonna do. I'm gonna take my Fenty Matchstick in Espresso and contour. I went back to this one because I just really like how it blends out. It's like a cream to powder type of thing. And I have been chiseling the hell out of my face. And I also feel like this one's a little bit deeper than my Makeup Mario, which I love that one. It's super creamy, but this one just like snatches me up. 
So I blend this out while my face is, while my concealer is drying. So now that I've let that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I like to start with the center of my face and then blend out just to give my concealer a little bit more time to sit because why not? Or you can do the nose last to really make it chiseled. And then I just like to blend out the edges with the brush because I like to keep that brightness in the center of my face. I'm going to be using two setting powders. I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath and my Dion Cosmetics powder. Um, I just like the combo together. Um, I love the Dion by itself. I actually love both of them by themselves, but together they just do something. Making a mess. Yeah, so I'm just using both of these because I just really like how they photograph and keep my face locked in. So I'm just pressing that into my sponge and then pressing that in my under eye. And I'm gonna also set my brows to avoid that oiliness because if I take any pictures or anything, I don't want grease or anything re reflecting off my eyebrow area it just makes your face look really weird i just want it to be matte so now i'm going in with my fenty beauty powder and i'm gonna lock in the rest of my face and i just like to press i do not swirl with this step i like to press and this is also giving me more coverage as well and i do brush it out like pretty quick because i don't want it to stick too much so I'm going to be going in with my Makeup Mario Bronzer in this brush that is just worn the heck out at this point. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. See what happens when you hit the lace? Oh, oh my gosh. But now I'm gonna do my nose and I'm back to using Coco Naughty on my nose because nothing else gives like Coco Naughty. So I'm just gonna snatch her up. So I'm gonna do some bottom liner. All right, make it nice and sultry. So I do want a little bit of highlight. So I'm gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier um, loose setting powder, the, the glow one, but this is in um, medium deep. And it just gives you a nice little sheen. I'm literally using what's in the cap, which is not a lot. And I'm just going like this. It's gonna give me a nice natural glow. I've been liking face highlight again. Could be that it's getting cooler outside, who knows. So for a little razzle dazzle, I really like a, under, a bright under eye. So I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number two. And I'm just gonna pack that on with a fluffy brush. I thought that this was too bright and that I needed shade number three, but shade number three literally oxidized my under eye and I was so mad. So shade number two it is. And one if I'm feeling spicy, honestly, but that's really like a bit much. Like, but this just puts a finishing touch. Like, do you guys see what that did? Like, this powder, like it's like the face is giving no texture, honey. Okay. 
So I'm going to do my, mm, I've been doing a full liner, but I think I'm going to do like a half liner today. Um, yeah. I'm going to do like a half liner and then put my lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and apply um, my lashes off camera. They look like this. These are by Poppy and Envy, Queen by Majestic. Try to be adding so many names to these lashes. But these are from the beauty supply store in the shade Victoria. Now get a good look at them now because y'all going to be asking. Look at them, okay? Look. Um, I'm probably going to cut off the first two notches, like the first two little things right there. And yeah, so I will be back with some lashes on. So my lashes look very crazy right now, but I am going to pinch them together and just a few and shape them and stuff. Like sometimes you got to, these are new lashes. I hate wearing new lashes, y'all, but it just is that time. So I really want to do a matte lip and I really want to do Dosa Colors and Knock On Wood, but I cannot find it anywhere. So we're just going to have to make some shakes. So I'm going to be using this um, NK lip liner. It's just a brown it's like a true brown. It's not warm and it's not cool. I like want to cut these some more, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to go on with this Morphe lipstick in the shade Commit. See, I really like the Dosa colors because it's a little bit warmer. But this will do. So I'm going to adjust my lashes, do some bottom mascara, pick out an outfit because I got like... 10 minutes to get it together and I will be back. And I almost forgot, I need to spray my face. So I'm gonna go in with this Morphe spray. Let that do its thing, you know. And then I'm going in with this um, one size luminous setting spray on top. I'm probably gonna put a gloss on this, but we will see. So let me pick out an outfit, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I have on my outfit, and I actually am feeling it. It's like a little casual, dressy moment. Um, I really just wanna be comfortable, especially, you know, you're eating dinner and stuff. Like, I just don't wanna be uncomfortable. And we have looks that get served, and we have cute, comfortable looks, you know what I'm saying? So this is one of them. So this is the hair up close. You guys, this color is gorgeous. Now that I'm putting on this blazer, this kind of reminds me of my SZA look, but this is like a complete look, so love that for us. So as far as accessories, I'm going to keep it very simple because I feel like the blazer is a statement piece of the outfit. So these are my earrings. Okay, these are from the Lav Style. They kind of have this like um, gold link like gold detailing with the rhinestones and the links. And then I'm wearing my JBW Crystal 28 watch. This is a gold one. Oh, there's hair in there. This is the gold one. It is gorgeous. It's very classy. I love her, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, before my outfit, I gotta show you guys my perfume. Let me tell y'all, this has been my go-to scent. This is officially my signature scent, okay? This is the one. So this is from a brand called BDK. And it's called Gris Charnel. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Um, but let me look up the notes too because that's why you're here, right? It took me so long to find these notes. So it has notes of fig, black tea, charmom, chardemom, essence. I don't know what that is. Absolute of iris, bourbon, vetiver sandalwood from india and absolute of tonka bean so it just is this like oh my god it just smells so good like i cannot stop spraying myself with this when i tell you i sprayed in my hair i spray it before bed sometimes like i just want everything to smell like this so this is my complete you know little situation i'm about to show you guys my outfit real quick and then We'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I did do an outfit change because I was just not feeling my outfit for tonight. So let me step back. Let me see if you can see me. Um, so I have on this fur coat from Shop Akira. I have on this black bodysuit from Forever 21. These leather pants that are so cute. They're like these motor leather pants from... Um, 
misguided and see if you can see uh, some gold heels i know it's kind of like backwards to our open toe shoes with the fur coat but it's cute and then my water cell bag because it has gold in it so it's definitely a little moment okay who's texting me Y'all, this is literally why I don't do get ready with me. It's because I literally be in a rush. I'm hot. I'm sweating. It's just it's just a lot. So I'm trying to show you guys my outfit as much as I can. But I'm going to try to take a little picture. So make sure you follow me on the gram. If that's what you want to see. And I'm out. Alright guys, this completes this get ready with me. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Comment down below. Thumbs up this video so that I know you guys like these type of videos so I can put more out for you. Because if you don't want to see them, I ain't going to do them. If you want to see them, I'm going to do them. So thanks so much again for watching and making it this far. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.